Hey food lovers, welcome back to our channel where we share delicious, quick, and easy recipes from around the world. Today we're stirring up something quite special, shakshuka. Hailing from the vibrant cultures of North Africa and the Middle East, shakshuka is a delectable concoction of poached eggs swimming in a robust sauce of tomatoes and peppers, seasoned to absolute perfection. It's a dish that's as much fun to pronounce as it is to devour. So if you're ready for a flavor-packed meal that's perfect for any time of the day, it's time to get cooking. For this shakshuka, you'll need a large onion and a red bell pepper, both diced, three cloves of garlic, minced, and a teaspoon each of cumin and paprika. A quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper will add a little kick, adjust to taste. You'll also need a 28-ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes, six large eggs, and salt and pepper to taste. For the finishing touch, fresh cilantro and crumbled feta for garnish. Olive oil for cooking, of course, and don't forget some crusty bread to serve alongside. First things first, we need to prep our veggies. When it comes to dicing your onion and bell pepper, aim for small, even pieces. This ensures that they cook at the same pace, creating a harmonious blend of flavors in your shakshuka. Now let's move on to the garlic. Mincing it finely is key here, as it allows the garlic to infuse its distinctive aromatic flavor throughout the sauce. Remember, a good dish is built on the foundation of well-prepared ingredients, so take your time here, it's all part of the culinary journey. And voila! Your veggies are now prepped and ready for action, the aroma of fresh ingredients is already tantalizing, isn't it? This is the beauty of cooking, it's an immersive experience that delights all your senses. Once you've got everything prepped, we're ready to move on to the cooking phase. Heat a large deep skillet or frying pan over medium heat and add a good drizzle of olive oil. We're looking for that beautiful shimmer that tells us it's ready to welcome our vegetables. Now it's time to introduce the diced onion and bell pepper to the pan. There's something truly comforting about the sizzle and pop as they hit the hot surface. We're aiming for softness and a hint of caramelization. It'll take about five to seven minutes, but patience is key here. We want to coax out the sweetness, allowing the natural sugars in the onion and bell pepper to develop and intensify. As our vegetables soften, their colors will deepen, providing a vivid backdrop for our shakshuka. Now let's invite the garlic to the party, along with our trio of spices, cumin, paprika, and cayenne pepper. The garlic will bring a pungent kick, while our spices will lend warmth and depth. Stir them in, letting them mingle with the onions and peppers. Give it another two minutes on the heat. This is just enough time for the garlic to lose its raw edge and for the spices to bloom. It's these little details that make all the difference, transforming simple ingredients into something truly special. As you stir, you'll notice the aroma changing. It'll become more complex, more layered. The cumin brings earthiness, the paprika adds sweet smokiness, and the cayenne gives it a spicy kick. These are the flavors that will form the backbone of our shakshuka. And there you have it. Our vegetables are cooked, our spices are blooming, and our kitchen is filled with the most incredible aroma. This is where the magic starts, folks. The spices really start to come alive. Next up, it's time to add the tomatoes. This is where our shakshuka truly starts to take shape. Bring out your can of whole peeled tomatoes and don't be shy. Pour the entire contents into the pan, juice and all. The juice will lend a wonderful depth of flavor to the sauce, so nothing goes to waste here. Now, using your spatula, you're going to break up these tomatoes right in the pan. Don't aim for perfection here, what we want are bite-sized, rustic chunks that will give our shakshuka its hearty texture. This dish is all about embracing the imperfect, so go ahead and get hands-on with those tomatoes. Once you've got your tomatoes all nicely broken up, it's time to season. We'll add in salt and pepper to taste. Remember, you can always add more later, so start with a conservative amount. This seasoning will not only enhance the flavors of the tomatoes, but also harmonize with the spices we added earlier. Now the waiting game begins. We're going to let this sauce simmer for about 10 minutes. This simmering process is crucial as it allows the flavors to meld together, creating a sauce that's greater than the sum of its parts. During this time, the sauce will start to reduce slightly. This is a good thing as it means the flavors are concentrating, becoming more robust and intense. The sauce will also thicken up, which is essential for holding those beautiful poached eggs we'll be adding later. So stir occasionally and let the heat do its magic. As the sauce simmers, the kitchen will fill with the most tantalizing aroma, making your mouth water in anticipation. And as you watch the sauce bubble and thicken, you'll know that you're on your way to creating a dish that's as comforting as it is delicious. It'll start to reduce slightly and thicken up, 
concentrating all those amazing flavors. This, my friends, is the heart and soul of shakshuka, a rich, aromatic sauce that's packed full of flavor ready to cradle perfectly poached eggs. Stay tuned as we move on to the next exciting step. Now for the eggs. Make little wells in the sauce with your spoon and crack an egg into each well. This is where our dish begins to take on its distinctive personality. The eggs are the shining stars of our shakshuka, and we want them to be nestled comfortably in their saucy bed. As you crack each egg, you'll notice how the rich yolks offer a vibrant contrast against the deep reds of our simmering sauce. It's a sight to behold, a feast for the eyes before we even get to the taste. Don't worry if the eggs merge a bit with the sauce, it's all part of the charm. Now let's talk about cooking. The beauty of shakshuka is that it caters to every preference. Whether you're a fan of well-done eggs or you swoon over runny yolks, you're in control. For those who prefer their yolks fully set, you'll want to let the eggs cook a bit longer, around 8 minutes or so. But for those who, like me, love a slightly runny yolk, aim for around 5 minutes. The trick is to keep an eye on the eggs. You'll see the whites start to set first, becoming opaque, while the yolk stays smooth and glossy. Remember, the eggs will continue to cook a little even after you remove the pan from the heat, so it's best to take them off just a touch before they're done to your liking. And there you have it, eggs added, shakshuka in full swing. We're on the brink of a mouth-watering masterpiece, a dish that's as hearty as it is delightful. The eggs, in their cozy wells, are gently cooking, their flavors mingling with the spiced tomato and pepper sauce. We'll let this cook for about 5 to 8 minutes, depending on how runny you like your yolks. I recommend going for slightly runny yolks, as they'll mix beautifully with the sauce. Stay tuned, because up next we're adding the finishing touches that will take our shakshuka from delicious to divine. We're in the home stretch. Once your eggs are cooked to your liking, it's time for the final touches. A dish like shakshuka is as much about the visuals as it is about the taste. The garnishes we add now will bring a pop of color and an extra layer of flavor. First, we'll add some freshly chopped cilantro. The vibrant green of the cilantro against the red of the sauce is simply stunning. And the taste? It adds a burst of freshness that cuts through the richness of the eggs and tomato sauce beautifully. Next, we'll crumble some feta cheese over the top. The creamy, tangy feta adds a delightful contrast to the hearty shakshuka. It's like the icing on a cake, but for a savory dish, and there you have it. With these final touches, your shakshuka is no longer just a dish, it's a masterpiece. These garnishes not only add color, but elevate the flavors to new heights. And there you have it, folks, a delicious hearty shakshuka ready to be enjoyed. This vibrant, flavor-packed dish is the perfect way to spice up your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Imagine breaking into those perfectly poached eggs, the yolks mingling with the rich tomato sauce, scooping it all up with a piece of crusty bread. It's a symphony of tastes and textures that's sure to make your taste buds dance. And the best part? It's incredibly easy to make right in your own kitchen. So, why not give it a try? Who knows? Shakshuka might just become your new favorite dish. Thanks for joining us today in our kitchen. It's always a pleasure sharing these delightful culinary adventures with you. Remember, the world of food is vast and full of exciting flavors waiting to be explored. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more delicious recipes. Until next time, happy cooking!